Hello, you are listening to Steps to a Healthier You Using the Food Guide Pyramid with Marisol Rosa and Adrian. Today we will learn about how to pick a healthy, delicious meal using the food pyramid as a guide. What is a food pyramid, Rosa? The food guide pyramid is one way for people to understand how to eat healthy. Mm, Rosa, what kinds of foods are in the food guide pyramid? We already eat foods from all group foods in the food guide pyramid. We just need to learn how, how much to eat in each group. This includes the food portions. But Rosa, what is a food portion? A food portion is the amount of food in one serving. In other words, the amount you serve in your plate to eat. Okay, Rosa. Let's start from the beginning. What foods are in the food pyramid? Well, they are the bread and cereals group, the fruit group, the vegetable group, milk group, meat group, and a very small amount of fats, oils, and sweet group. Wow, it sounds like a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, it does. How do we know how much food to eat, Rosa? Good question, Adrian. This is where we use the food guide pyramid. Rosa, how many portions of each group do we need? Well, we need about six or more portions from the bread and cereals group, four from the fruit group, four from the vegetables group, three from the milk group, and two from the meat group. What types of food are in each group? The meat group has fish, chicken, meat, eggs, peanut butter, nuts, and beans. The milk group has milk, cheese, and yogurt. The bread and cereal group has cereals, bread, pasta, rice, and all kinds of whole grains. What are whole grains, Rosa? Whole grains are bread that are fully made of natural wheat. This natural whole grain will digest better in your body and this makes it a healthy choice. The, the fruit group has all types of fruit, like strawberries, bananas, melons, apples, and pears, to name a few. But remember that you have a limit of three servings a day. The vegetable group has... The last group is the oils, fats, and sweet group that has butter and sugars. The vegetable group has lettuce, tomatoes, broccoli, and cucumbers, just to name a few. Remember that like all other groups, you also have a limit of only four servings a day. Great, good information, Rosa. Now let's see if we know how to eat healthy. Marisol, what did you eat for lunch this afternoon? I had a choice today to either eat a big plate of pasta or two tacos. Remember what we have learned today about food groups and portions. What meal do you think is the healthiest? The tacos because the pasta is too big a portion for one day. The tacos have lettuce, tomatoes, meat, and cheese. There are a lot of food groups in my tacos and there are only two of them. Mm. Now that you have learned about the food pyramid guide and about how many servings you should eat, you know how to eat healthy. Thank you for listening and share this information with your family.